Hello, hello. Good morning. Um, my name is Mark Redelake. I'm here from Dunster Woodfields. Mm. I'm a, a director in that company. And we're here to talk about the big ash boiler. Talk about the running through and the lighting of the boiler. This is a 25 kilowatt boiler. I'm going to go through the lighting process um, of it and just to show you how easy it is and how good these boilers are. I know it's Lay in and catch, and a bit of kindling on top. And uh, in about a few minutes, we should have a good fire in here. And um, what I do at the moment, because it's the summer, I batch burn. So what that means is we light the boiler, get a good base going, fill it up with logs and walk away and the um, boiler does the rest he looks after the the heating of the accumulator and, and I'll fill that with wood just before I, sh I shut the door on it and it will put all the heat into that thousand litre accumulator So there we are, I laid that in, I'll leave that now, I'll leave the top door slightly ajar, there. and I'll open that bottom door, let a draft go through, make sure better, let the, let the chimney catch the draft, there she goes, um, so we'll just leave that for a few minutes now and I'll talk to you about the fuels in the boiler, here we have various types of fuel here. So on the bottom we've got the chip. And there's the log, this is the pellet, and this is the oil. Now these are all equivalent volumes, so there's the same energy in those compartments. And I put log in here because it's between, the density is between the pellet and the chip, because we've got more air in it in there. But I mean if you chip that you would get the same quantity of chip in there. And that's the same amount of energy in those. So you can see the volume that you need, or equivalent volumes that you need. So you need a bigger space to, for your chip. Um, for your log you need slightly less, and for your pellet you need slightly less. And then this is oil for your oil tank. Um, the dryness of the log is very, very important. Now the easiest way to check the fuel is with a moisture meter, which I have. just happen to have one here. It's very easy. You've got two prongs here, a gauge here. You put it into the into the into the wood, and this moisture on this is 17, 18 percent, which is ideal. These boilers need to run on fuel or logs which are drier than 25%. Or 20% is ideal, you get a nice burn. What I'm burning here is pine wood. This is out of the, out of the woods um, and it's very cheap to buy. If you want it, the cheapest way is to buy a lorry load in and process it yourself. That way you have control of your drying process. The length of the log is, uh, you can cut them up to uh, 18 inches, so it's a good handy sized log to chuck in. You'll burn about a very lar a large wheelbarrow full every 24 hours. Um, so what I'd like to talk 
you now about is the various bits and pieces we have with the boiler. The set in here is the larder mat 21, and that has two jobs. It doesn't allow any water to go into the accumulator until the boiler is at a certain temperature. Uh, there's a thermostat in the, in the larder mat, the one we've got in there at the moment is 72 degrees. So it'll keep the boiler temperature up to 72 degrees all the time. So it won't allow any cold water to go into the boiler. That stops corrosion because the last thing you want is cold water to come, in, come into the boiler and you'll get condensation and it mixes and acids and it rots your boiler. The other job of the larder mat is to stratify the accumulator tank. So you want, what it does is puts hot water in at the top of the accumulator tank and keeps it there. And as it gets hot, it moves like a band moving down. The band is probably three or four inches wide, and you probably have 80 degrees at the top, and then below you might have 50 degrees. And it works, works gradually, as it fills up, it grad the band gradually works down until you have a beautifully full accumulator. The energy in that accumulator, the 1,000 litres, is probably equivalent to 90 kilowatts. Um, so that's what I use. It's summertime now, so what I essentially use doing is batch burning, as I said. So I'm taking the energy from the logs and putting it into the accumulator. And then I will draw off that for my hot water and showers through probably two and a half days and I'll come out again and light it then and do it again the same thing. In the winter I run this boiler continuously so I come in in the morning put some logs in shut it down and in the evening I come in put some more logs in shut it down. I yawn. It takes about five minutes morning and evening and I fit it into my routine. The thing about these routines is it, it must fit into your system. Um, you don't want to make it a chore. I have my wood store here. I can, I've got some nice big open doors in this garage. I bring the, the trailer in, I can tip them up and it, the logs are here. Very, very easy for me to do. That is the secret. 